Welcome to this lesson on the volume of spheres. A sphere is a 3D figure that is perfectly round and every point is equidistant or the same distance from the center point. The formula, formula for volume of a sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed. So my r is my radius. So 4 thirds pi 3 cubed. And I'm going to type that in my calculator. And I get 113.1 if I round to the tenths place feet cubed. All right, and then a hemisphere is half of a sphere. All right, so there's a couple different ways you can find the volume of a hemisphere. You can just find the volume of the whole sphere and divide by 2. Or you can use this formula, 2 thirds pi r cubed, which is just half of the sphere formula. All right, so I'm just going to use the second one. So 2 thirds pi 2 cubed, because my radius is 2. All right, and I got about 16.8 feet cubed. All right, let's try some examples. So number one says to find the volume of the sphere, then find the volume of one hemisphere. All right, so our radius is eight, so four thirds pi eight cubed. And I get about 2,144.7 meters cubed. And then if I want the volume of one hemisphere, I can just divide that by two. And I get 1,072.3 meters cubed. All right, number two, the radius of a hemisphere is seven inches find the volume. Okay, so the formula for a hemisphere is 2 thirds pi r cubed. All right, so 2 thirds pi 7 cubed. And I got 718.4 inches cubed. All right, number three, if the radius of a tennis ball is 1.7 inches, what is the volume? So a tennis ball, of course, is a sphere, so we're still using the same formula. So 4 thirds pi 1.7 cubed. And you get about 20.6 inches cubed. All right, number four, the volume of a sphere is 700 cubic yards. What is the length of the radius? So here we're working backwards. So we know the volume and we're trying to work backwards to find the radius. So my volume is 700. All right, so there's a few different things you can do first. You can multiply by three first to get rid of that divided by three part of the fraction. Or you can multiply by the reciprocal of 4 thirds, which is 3 fourths, or 0.75. That's what I'm going to do just to get rid of that whole fraction in one step. So times 0.75 times 0.75, which gives us 525. All right, now I'm going to divide each side by pi. And I get 167.1 .1 equals r cubed. All right, and then if I want to get r by itself, I need to get rid of the cubed, so I'm going to take the cubed root. And 
And instead of typing 167.1, I'm just going to get the answer that was still in my calculator. That's going to be a little more accurate. And you get about 5.5 yards. All right, you can go ahead and stop the video now and complete the practice and check it with your teacher.